What's going on guys? Welcome back. Completely forgot to film the intro to this video. But anyway, here's part two of the wiring. All right guys, so I got my harness laid out here. It's four plugs into the ECU. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug those in and uh, start running the cables. All right guys, so what I'm doing right now is I'm going over the harness and I'm, uh, sorry, it's on the floor, but my other bench is occupied with a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going through each loom and separating the cables where they gotta go. Cause I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be using all of it, right? At least not right now. Uh, this ECUs can do a lot of stuff and I'm just not gonna be utilizing all of it. So I got over there the uh, little uh, tags here. So you can see this one goes to the accelerator pedal. So I'm going through that and for that I'm using this guy right here which I populated already and also referencing this diagram I made where if I zoom in here I got my connectors, that's the D, C, B and A, H line is a cable and where it goes, if I scroll over to the side here, I got the fuel pressure, oil pressure, oil temp, KR sensor. So pretty much just following my diagram here and separating each one of these uh, pins to where they gotta go. Also, I want to take a second to uh, shout out uh, Greg and Ricky. I'm going to link their Instagram somewhere on the screen here. Uh, they helped me out getting information for this. If it wasn't for them, I don't think I would have I done this harness. Also, big thanks to Amtron uh, Customer Support Department. Amazing. Any question I had, I just write them in there, email them. They'll get back to me, even on Sundays. Even on Sundays, they'll get back to you. So. Uh, super thankful for the help. Alright, so this is where I am so far. So this row right here is capped at the end by this uh, head shrink that has the uh, silicone inside and that's because I may use this in the future so I don't want to I don't want to cut them so I'm just gonna leave them like this it's gonna be terminated a little uh, better together with the harness but I'm gonna keep all that just in case now the rest of them so you can see are paired in like twos and threes and it's pretty much all labeled at the end over there however in here I got the four um, wheel speed sensor so those I'm gonna have to twist the wires which uh, I'm gonna do that now all right so right here on my last um, clip here I got these two cables and these two are the a can cables are gonna go to my dash and my keypad so these two cables aside from having to be twisted they also need a resistor right here and one right before the keypad so uh, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that here's the little guy so that's gonna have to be installed on both of these cables go from one side to the next
right guys so these are essentially all the cables that the car is gonna is gonna need right on here so some of these are gonna go back inside the car some of them are gonna go to the back and so on and so forth but I just haven't laying down here because I still gotta put some of these together because uh, they are from from different looms remember I got the A B C and D so I'm gonna have to some of them go to each other so they intertwine so I have to figure that one out and uh, yeah it's just getting there that's all of them coming out so the other thing I have to do is I gotta make a plate for that hole with a grommet rubber grommet on it and I go from there so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do these plugs the two on top the two on the bottom because some of those cables I also go out with this so I gotta have that done before I wrap up the uh, the harness here all righty guys check this out so I got everything pretty much uh, organized what it needs to go held down temporarily with zip ties different harnesses going different places right and this is pretty much to uh, separate them in groups and then the ones that are going same thing with the one that comes this way get it here inside the car see that's the main right there it's gonna have a grommet so it's just pretty much cleaning up everything I still gotta do this little section here and I'll got you with an update <laughs> guys so here's where, where I'm at with the harness it's pretty much uh, organized into the areas that it's got to split it into all the wires are already here there are no more wires to be added I just need to uh, trim it to the length which I'm gonna do right now and uh, start running the the loom the braided loom over all of it and then put in the plugs and uh, it's ready to go I know it sounds simple it's probably going to take me a few hours of work, but uh, I'll keep on giving you updates. So this part of the harness is pretty much done. I just gotta do uh, the clips, the connectors at the ends. Uh, you can see everything here is uh, finished up. It's got a zip tight on every joint uh, to prevent any strain from pulling it apart. Way over here, rubber grommet where it goes to the firewall and uh, into the ECU. So I gotta do that side. To the clips and is uh, ready to be installed.
righty guys let me give you a little update here so the harness is all plugged in so you can see this is pretty much all you can see on the harness um, it's running somewhere down there it goes through there down through here and then up and around and it goes in the car so everything for the coils is below this uh, valve cover plate what else there's another one that comes through here down in here that's for the wheel speed sensor and the IET sensor right there um, I got the alternator and a ground install there then inside the car everything is plugged where it needs to be that's where it comes through the grommet there that's the ECU see the fuse box installed we still gotta run some of those uh, main power and ground cables and then over here we got the uh, remote post then the cable keeps going to the back and that goes to the to the fuel pump and to the rear sensor so it's pretty much everything everything is installed and ready to go I still gotta do uh, the dash over here and do the switch panel but I'll get to that later um, what I'm working on right now is up here on that plastic tray this guy I'm putting a battery disconnect so you know so they can reach it from the outside if there's any emergency twist that thing off and that will kill uh, all power to the car so you know the, pump, the fuel pump doesn't keep running in case of a fire or a crash uh, so I'm working on that right now so I'm gonna get that done finish up the uh, the fuse box inside all those cables mount the dash the switches and then Pretty much sees uh, if you work. All right, guys. So this thing is pretty much done. Take a look inside here. Uh, all the electrical is connected. All it needs to go. Battery down there. As you saw this already. Um, so what's missing? So what I got going on now is that I gotta install the dash in order to install the switch panel and the uh, gauge cluster. So those are the only two things left to do here but I can't do that until I get the carbon fiber piece on top finished I'm still struggling with that thing but I should be done this week and then also even when that's done I can't turn on the car yet the reason why is uh, that ECU never done this car before so the ECU requires a trigger signal from the crank and cam and it's a specific to every engine uh, for the ECU to understand what the timing sequence is. You know, long story short, that's, it needs that signal. So I got to do um, pretty much a log of the timing because the ECU has that capability. It can do a scope of the crank and cam si uh, signals. So I just got to send that out to Amtron and then they're going to provide me with a, with a trigger signal that I can upload to the ECU and then it will... It will recognize the timing and fire up so that's gonna take a few weeks so in the meantime I'll probably uh, go ahead and start working on the RXA you guys probably forgot about that guy but it's sitting right there and uh, I've been collecting parts which I have in a few boxes over here so these these yellow boxes have uh, two JC parts and also also this over here so that box is a block which is machine and ready to go same thing with the head on top machine and ready to go so I'm gonna start putting that engine together and uh, also I'm going to install uh, racing seats the ones that were installed on this car previously I'm gonna put those on the RXA so again again this is probably gonna be it for for this guy for now um, until you know until that happens but I'm gonna keep you I'm gonna keep you guys uh, updated so yeah thank you for watching see you next time